Joining us today, we are here in Rico Orlando 2023. I was somehow able to secure a Wi Fi here, so we're gonna do some live. And I'm gonna show you guys around, do a little walkthrough, and show you guys all the cool new toys that was unveiled at this show. Now, let me flip this camera around and show you guys what I see. All right. I don't know if this is better. Okay, this is better. All right, so let's take a quick look and see. All right, so. The friendly booth here at Reef Nutrition. Hillary's over there. She's so famous. <laughs> let's go. And we are going to pass by Marco Rock. Now Marco Rock, they just unveiled their new type of rock. And this one is, this one is, their new color rock that they're releasing. And this one is not a regular like uh, epoxy rock or painted rock. These are these are dyed, right, Joe? Oh, by the way. Uh, it's a dyed Joe. rock, yep. <laughs> How are yep. you? We are live okay. right now. All right, cool. Awesome. Hey, you did it without me or am I live too? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about this rock, please. This is uh, our Reef Saver rock. Yes. That is now in color, Paulie. It's called Coraline. That's what you can buy it as. Mm -hmm. But it is a dyed rock. It's not paint. Now, so, why, why use dye instead of the traditional paint? Well, we wanted something different. Uh, we didn't want paint. Paint kind of seals up the porosity. Mm -hmm. So we wanted something that preserves the porosity and also doesn't look and feel like paint. So we used a process that allows the dye to seep into it. And then we hit it with some pigments using our tried and true mortar, uh, gotcha. which is what you'll see this purple. It looks better when it's wet. You can really see if I, if I wet this rock and then take it out and bring it here. You can start to see all this purple, mm -hmm. and that's what it looks oh, yeah. like underwater. So you can really see the different pigments. And we're going to continue to refine it, add some more pinks to it. But so far, people have been very receptive. We've, we've asked their honest opinion of it, and everyone seems to genuinely like it. It's it's a breath of fresh air from the traditional painted kind of fake look. Right, um, right. So we're hoping that it's well received. And this one is out in the market right now? No, so this is going to be released soon. We're just building up inventory. Yeah. What we didn't want is to come out to market and then not be able to fulfill orders. So right, as right. As you know, with any new product, you need to have the inventory supply behind it. So we're bringing it here to show people while we're also building inventory. So Very we cool. should be able to come out with it probably another month. Another month. Do you know though maybe like the price range for these yeah, type of rocks? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be five forty nine a pound. Five forty nine a pound. Two dollars more per pound than our traditional beef saver for yeah. the entire coloring process. Perfect. So you get that instant gratification and the long term benefits of having a porous reef saver rock that's natural limestone. A lot of people think that it's fake rock or man made, but none of our rock is. It's reshaped some of it, but mm -hmm. it's a natural, natural rock. Perfect. Thank cool. you so much. You got it, man. Have a good show. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Get back to work. <laughs> That's Richard number two over there. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, how you guys doing? There's Julian right there. And so here's a eShop booth. And we are over here. This is their all-in-one tank. This is the Mariner. And if you look the light over here. is so amazing. <laughs> the light is so amazing. The freshest man on the show, Francois. <laughs> How are you, buddy? I'm good. Check out this tank. This is the Mariner All-in-One series that they just released. If you, what's really cool about this is that if you look, there is all the aquaculture pe uh, pe corals from 24/7 Aquariums and Biota Aquariums. That's a tiger pygy that's hiding back there. That's super awesome. And if you look, this tank is all-in-one, very well thought out very unique tank overall it fits all their eShop's accessories interesting piece for sure very cool <laughs> hi Martha hi <laughs> she's one of the friendliest face that you'll see in the brief of pool of the show she's absolutely amazing and this is a desk made Florida they just launched at this show and if you look over here this is a peninsula tank. It was not showing the peninsula side because there has to be a curtain there, but this is absolutely amazing. And this is a Mariana, desktop Mariana. This is a drop-off tank. This is a pretty awesome looking system right here. 
And what's really cool is this. Colin, how are you? Good. And he just released this new macro algae to the market. And we kind of named it on the fly yesterday, Colin, right? <laughs> it's, it's, we've got a couple. We've got a couple of different names. We gotta. We need some public consensus of gotcha. Sprung's burning bush. Sprung's burning bush. There's the one. What's the other one? Atomic broccoli. Atomic broccoli. If anyone else has any other good ideas, we're open for suggestions. Now, can you tell me a little bit about this macroalgae? Sure. So this is uh, Halaminia stipata. Mm -hmm. So it's the same genus as uh, Dragon's Breath, but. It's a different species. But yeah. It's fluorescent like dragon's breath. It's, yeah, it's uh, super fluorescent. You can see yeah, the orange right there, like just, really just popping. It's really bushy and compact, so it's like mm -hmm. a little pod hotel. So it's yeah. really great in tanks that might have like seahorses and mandarins. Yeah. Um, you can glue it in place, mm -hmm. which most macroalgae you can't and it'll sort of like rot off. But this, right. this creates a stipe, mm -hmm. uh, and it's really durable. And it doesn't crash. It's, it's, uh, I predict this is going to be the the macroalgae for refugiums in the coming year that people are going to be growing. I think it's going to replace the dragon's breath. Gotcha, gotcha. Do you have you any noticed anything with the uh, nutrient export or anything like that? Is it like similar to dragon's algae, or is it a little bit more aggressive in yeah, nutrient no, export? It's, it's probably pretty similar. Pretty similar. Um, okay. So it's it's uh, yeah really reliable nutrient uptake. Gotcha. So if people want to get this algae, um, where, where, where can they get it? Today, they can only get it at Reef of Palooza, but I, I suspect that some of the vendors that have bought it, I'm sure, you know, Worldwide Forest is going to be able to, to start offering it. Um, yeah. So it's, you're just going to have to... Look out for the vendors look that... You're going to have to look out for it. Gotcha. They can't even buy from you direct? You don't have any we other sales? Know. We don't even sell online. You can't come visit us in Miami. We're this, we just show up to the shows and you never know what we're going to bring. And this time we only brought back around. Gotcha. Gotcha. Colin, thank you so much. Yeah, cheers. Have a good one. All right. So we're going to head down this way. Let's go. Hi. So we are here at Reef Octopus and one thing that was really really neat was if you look over here the Reef Octopus had these this is the their new pump Barrios S10 this is really amazing oh, let me see if I can grab somebody ah here we go we have the owner of Reef Octopus hiding maybe I could get him to talk Derek how are you we're live right now can I ask you a couple of questions he's the guy he's Dr. Octopus ah he's you're just Jeremy. deferring yeah. all right Jeremy let's go Tell me a little bit about this Varios S10, uh, please. Varios S10, the biggest one. Now we have five in the range. Yeah. That has all the nice features, mm -hmm. internal or external applications. Yeah. What makes this one different than mm -hmm. the smaller ones is that this one is pressure rate. Mm -hmm. And what that means is now you can shoot it up the second floor. We're getting yeah. up to 4,200 gallons per hour. Wow. What's the head pressure on that? That head pressure is, we're looking at 29 feet, I believe. Right Almost now. 30 feet, looks like a 29.5. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty crazy. We have a video online. Yeah. Uh, you want me to play it here? Or do you want no, 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 it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll post it online later. Yeah, that's I'll awesome. Show you online, shooting up yeah. in an apartment complex, the that's, water level. That's insane. When is this uh, unit coming out? It's already available. Already available. Yes, sir. Gotcha. What's the price range for um, this? Just under a thousand dollars. Just under a thousand. Gotcha. Gotcha. Perfect. So you could expect the quality and the silence and the, you know like a great support from the Reef Octopus line. And for a thousand dollars, that's the pub could be yours. All right. Well, so thank you, Jeremy, for showing this around. Uh, let's see if we could get to the hydro section. Oh, here we go, Carlos, yes. my man. How are you? We're doing, doing live well. right now. Ooh. Everybody. So, <laughs> so can you show me what's new from the hydros? Okay, Come let's on let's go. I'm gonna show you the brand new. Uh, remember how we had the IV? Remember how we had the IV yeah. at Magna? And it was right. kind of like a weird looking thing, kind of like a prototype. So now we actually have kind of like the final product. Take a look yep. at it. Let me let me change the. Uh, the, the excess equipment around for me. Yeah. This is the IV? Yes. So again, it has the four lines. Yep. 
80 watts. Four lines for reagents, salt water and wastewater. Right. Okay. Then it has two, P, two probe holders, one mm -hmm. for pH and the other one for cellular mm -hmm. conductivity. Yeah. I noticed that those are 3D printed. Uh, yes, they are. They are 3D printed. And the reason why is because, you know, we understand it's just a vessel. Mm -hmm. um, if we create a mold, we probably have to charge a lot more for the, you know, because carrying a mold is not cheap. Right. So at this point, 3D printing has gotten to a point where it works very well. We have a company in Frag mm -hmm. that actually is creating those for us. Mm -hmm. and, and letting us use them so for very a very cool. reasonable price. Yeah. When we come up with this unit back in probably July or August, yeah. then they'll be able to, you'll you understand that it's a very, it's a very comfortable price yeah. and it's not too much. Considering that you're getting the X10 with the, with the, uh, with the uh, dosing pumps and the ability to do the alcohol. Yeah, that's awesome. So when is X10 coming out? We are foreseeing probably the end of the summer, most likely like August. August, yeah, gotcha, so it's gotcha. actually just around the corner. I mean, I know people have been asking us about it. Right, right. We've been kind of, we've been kind of uh, mums the word in terms of date, mm -hmm. but honestly, it's because we did not. We had. Uh, you know, the, the product is done, but then you have uh, um, uh, packaging, yeah, boxes and everything. So it's 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 been uh, challenging to get that stuff. So now that we actually have it narrowed down, now we can actually do the date, which is probably going to be like August. Gotcha, Jeff. Uh, Jeff. Ben Benderek said, what's up, what's up, Carlos? <laughs> what's up, Jeff? <laughs> so let's talk about Kraken. Yes, come on this way. So what, what's the word on Kraken right now? The same thing. Okay. You know, we're actually getting pretty close to that. And, it's, and it hasn't changed. You still get the Kraken. Mm -hmm. You still get the, the uh, uh, Meanwell uh, power Driver. supply. Yep. And you get the cable that connects to the battery. Yep. And then it will uh, be $599. $599? 599 You still have the ability to, inside, there's like a little dip switch. Yeah. You can move over. When you do that, you disable the charger. When you yeah. disable the charger, now you're able to use lithium ion or lead acid batteries. The catch is that you're going to have to invest in a charger station yeah. you know, to charge the batteries. Right. But sometimes those charger stations are much better. They're better at managing the, the, the charging of the battery mm -hmm. and make and, and allows you to squeeze more life out of the battery than you would if you were typical charger. Gotcha. At the end of the day, though, you know, these batteries are very inexpensive. So right, right. I always say, you know what, if I have to, if, if, in order to save my fish, I'm going to have to buy another battery soon. That's fine with me. Because right. the fish and the corals, compared to the battery, you know, if I have to buy one because something happened to it, I'm okay with it. Right. You know? Awesome. So you said that this will come out in the fall yes. area? Yeah. No, actually, probably I, that also August. We're August. We're hoping about the same day. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've been I've been watching this grow from like an idea and then to like inception. I know you showed it to me in yeah. Chicago like a few years, but I think two two and a half years ago, right? Something like that. Yeah. So I mean, I'm really excited to see it, and I'm I can't wait to like this to come out and uh, everybody have a chance to play with it. Now, did you guys see the part was already? No, you know what? I, that you know what? I know I was forgetting something. Let's let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about the part was. So you know, part was. This is so neat. Everybody's been talking about par for many years. Right. But that's not the absolute exactly. way to measure Actually, things. Actually, yeah, no, exactly. You know, I, I there's a, there's a couple of videos by Tulio from Reef Pride, and mm -hmm. please, they're about 20 minutes long, but they will educate you. They will they will bring you to another light on understanding light. But what it is is, Parwise is a product that is not just par. Mm -hmm. You can measure par. You can also measure Kelvin's. Yeah. You measure spectrum as well. Right. And spectrum now. is incredibly important. Oh, yeah, very. Very. So we have this little here. So here's Parwise. This little contraption from Fragtastics allows you to grab this and put it in the tank. You see, this as, this is right now like what you, you see right, right so here. So I have this light. this Parwise right now, and it's measuring the light up there. Right. You know. So it's looking at the light. It's a regular. I'm I'm guessing it's probably like an incandescent bulb, mm -hmm. and it's very high on the you know on the reds, very yeah. low on the blue. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this sensor and put it right below this little light that was is made for a small reef tank. And look at this. As soon as I do that, it changes. It changes. Now it shows you a lot of blue, right? You know, almost getting into the UE and very, you know. So it's giving you a different spec. It's giving you a, a different look on light instead of just part, part, part. Right. It's also giving you a more complete picture of what you're, what you need. Right. Because what you're putting in your into your display tank. Because part at the end of the day, you know, it's like you know, Tulio makes this 
this comparison. It's like par is like it's like a, a bowl of marbles. Mm -hmm. You have red marbles and you have yellow marbles. The red marbles are the good marbles that that, that the uh, that the corals can eat, and the yellow ones are something that they can't use. So par, a par meter just measures the number of marbles. Mm -hmm. That's it. So it doesn't tell you there's 90 good marbles and 10 that we don't use. It mm -hmm. doesn't tell you, or there's 10 good marbles and right. 90 of X of nothing that you can do with them. So you need a, par is not the ultimate measure. You, you need a lot of information in order to make an educated guess. Right. So, you know, when people tell you par is part, it's, it, yes, par is part of the equation, but it's not everything. You really have to look at empty because par is very misleading right and you know what was really cool about this is that you could actually use this connect this right on your smartphone oh yes so, so this that works, was really cool absolutely it works on a smartphone like a, an android tablet an android it works on a pc it works on a mac the only time it doesn't work is it does not work on an apple iphone because they're not we, that good, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just totally, start totally that kidding. Because I'm an iPhone and you're an Android user. But you no, know, at the end of the day, some Apple is a little more. They have a little more security, or you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. I, we can argue why, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it doesn't work. Yeah, it gotcha. Doesn't work. But that, that is, this was very, very unique thing to see. So how much does, does something like this cost? Well, so the par wise, which is just the black meter, mm -hmm. not the not the not the holder, okay, two ninety nine. So it's actually incredibly inexpensive. Right, for everything that it does. For everything that you... Um, how much is it with, with the holder? You know, I, I can't tell you what the holder is. I'm mm -hmm. going to have to get back to you on that one. Gotcha. Because I don't know what the holder is. But I love the car wise because most of us have a hodgepodge of lights. Yeah. You know, yes, our system, our main system has the same lights, but then we have a frag system that is using an old light that we had in there. Mm -hmm. So this would be a great way of comparing your frag system to your regular lights to make sure that the corals have the same light, yeah. even though you're using a different frag. Gotcha, gotcha. And you said that this is already out. Where can we get this from? You can get it from um, um, any online or your local fish store. Gotcha. Any gotcha. online or local fish store. If your own, if your local fish store does not have it, mm -hmm. then you know, knock on the door. Like the cable company says, demand, call, you know, demand your local fish store to call right, right. you and we carry it. Gotcha. Carlos, thank you so much for spending time time with me. You're welcome. And have a great show. It's always good to see you, and thank you Likewise. for having me. Yep. Have a good one. All right. So let's go over this way over here. And sorry. Here we go. We are going to Aperture's booth right here, and this is absolutely amazing booth. So let me speak to somebody here. Jay and Pepe. <laughs> Oh, everyone's so busy over here. Let's see. Let me just see if I can grab somebody real quick. Are you looking for Jay? He's gonna... So it looks like everybody's a little bit busy. So I'll I'll start with what I know. Um, Niles is actually unleashing their uh, releasing their new tank. It's in the United States. It's not out yet. But this thing, as I'm looking at it, is built like a tank. You can see how thick that is. This thing is made out of compressed wood, and then they put two millimeter bits of laminate to make it water resistant. And Nios, uh, working with um, tank mates, developed this um, this fish trap. Do your best to give room to the other meters, please, that have their boots. And there we go. We, there's also over here the Nero Seven. There's Nero 7 here, and the Nero 7 just came out. This thing does 4,000 gallons, and then 4,000 gallons. This thing is like a, almost like a replacement of MP40. You can kind of twist it off. I'm trying to do everything one hand, so excuse my clumsiness, guys. This thing is magnetically with impeller. I'll let maybe Tom do it, but this just comes out, and you can see the impeller. This thing is very thick. And I'll let them do it. <laughs> so yeah, this is a new one, new edition from Nero 7. Let's see, Aqua Forest. I'm not sure if they have anything new from Aqua Forest. But, and I noticed that there is... Over here. Uh, there. 
MXM module, which is the Apex solution for Ecotech and AI products working with their Apex Fusion inter interface and their ecosystem. Let's see. I think that's it from here. Yeah, come back. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, there's actually one thing that really, really got my attention. And if you follow me over this way, sorry for the shaky video, guys. This is my another phone, and it's just it's too huge to fit on a gimbal. But we'll go on this way. And here we are. We are going to Champions Booth. So. So here we are guys, so this is a champion's booth and they have, in here they have a multitude of different companies working together in this booth. One of the companies that got my attention was this uh, company from Europe called, uh, they're called Reef Factory and what, this is something that I think will gather a lot of attention from a lot of different people. This is called the Smart Tester and Smart Tester what it does is that in, they will test individual unit. They'll test magnesium, calcium, as well as phosphate and nitrate. They have their own reagents. Let me open this up real quick. This is how it looks. This is their prototype, working prototype. This one does magnesium, and you can switch out the reagents to get different like nitrate or phosphate or etc. And this is not out yet in US. It should be coming out maybe in about a month in Europe, and US probably about three months. And if you want it, um, the idea is that you could do a single unit and then like they do it that way instead of having multiple different ones on a separate pumps that's inside here is for the contamination so that they could get an accurate results. And if you wanted to do more than once, you will need to purchase more units. Um, that, for me, that was the only downside to it, but I like the idea and I kind of understand where they are coming from. And if priced correctly, I mean, I wouldn't mind having, I mean, if it's, if it's priced really, you know, you know like uh, affordably, then I would like to have one for maybe for phosphate and one for nitrate and such, which I do test regularly because I do feed very heavily. And what I thought was really, really awesome was their lights were pretty good too. And their alkalinity um, tester, I watched this from Devon, and then they have the unit right over here, is incredibly small. It's probably one of the smallest ones that I have ever, I have ever seen in the market uh, and it's it's the acid based um, tester just like the every other um, alkalinity one out there but their ecosystem is very nice and I, it's intuitive and friendly I really like how everything is done and yeah it's something to definitely look if you're interested in another like a another type of alkalinity uh, monitor if you need one that's a good option for you to check out and their reef flare uh, lights those are very cool i uh, been asked to test one of those units out so i will definitely do that and check it out and this was the star of uh, magna wisconsin how are you we are live right now again <laughs> And then they're doing a demonstration of SeaTac. Well, no, and we have president going, no? of RAD, Jeff Turner, right oh, over here, uh, learning how to use this unit. Yep. And Todd from Champion is showing him how to do this. This booth has been one of the busiest booths in this whole show. And this man has already lost his boat voice after the first day. <laughs> it's incredible. You can see right over here. So SeaTac is out now and is used in conservation like sites, or coral restoration sites, out planning all across the globe right now. And it's incredible how reef hobby products are being used all around the world for different type of applications. Now, this is very different from regular type of cyanoacrylate glue. So, you know, like um, instead of having that instant gratification of just setting uh, the cyano glue and then activating with water, this is a little bit different. You have to dry everything first and then apply it. You have to follow the direction that's on the box to make sure that everything is working as it should. 
And here's Jeff. Yes, Jeff. How the hell does this shit work? I, I'm sorry, how the heck does this stuff work? It looks very interesting. I think I'm gonna buy myself one, two, or three with some spare magazines and I can use it in rapid fire. <laughs> Tony Montana taught me that. There you go. Oh, Say right. hello I to my up, little friend. I grew up in Miami. Mm -hmm. Say hello to my little friend. There you go. <laughs> this is very true, by the way. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll take one. Two, three, four, five. I'll take one. I'm gonna need one of these. And I love to buy. So make sure to use this. If you do try it out, make sure they're completely dry and follow the direction because they are completely different from cyanoacrylates that are that we are very very much used to. All right. So that was Champion Lighting, and there is actually a pretty pretty diff, uh, pretty cool stuff that I wanted to also show uh, from here. They have their own filt uh, the roller filter roller filter floss roller that's coming out soon as well as their feeder reminds me of the Eheim ones from the past and I, I, I I'm thinking that's similar to like the, the how the um, hydros have done it and made it into a Wi-Fi unit that will con um, that you can control with the Wi-Fi unit and the ecosystem all right so with that said let's go check out some different stuff I hope everybody's doing well today. Ronald. All right, so here we are. We are here in Tulua's booth. This is unique looking booth right here. Look at that, just, just a bounce house of fun. How awesome is this? Now let's check out the, what they have over here. They have, let's see, uh, Polar Reef. I may, if I have the time, right now I'm, I have so much filming to do, so I may, but I, if I could squeeze in the time, I'll try to do it for you. So this is their great white skimmer. I see Anthony running away. Anthony, can I borrow you for a second? <laughs> I know, I know. I came for you before, but you were gone. How you been, man? Good, you so? Good, good. Now, can you tell me a little bit about the light as soon as my nemesis finished talking? <laughs> Uh, yes, I did. It's a, it's a balloon house, like a, it's a house of fun. <laughs> That's awesome. We're doing live right now. Yeah, I got my other other camera ready. So as soon as we're done with uh, this, then we're gonna start filming the other stuff too, as well. I already came by yesterday and shot all the B-rolls for this. So let's talk about your lights here. Tell me about them. Okay. X4 uh, yes. with the new Delore ecosystem app finally after many years of uh, yeah creation. Uh, it was a COVID creation and now it's here, it's launched and it's amazing. So that brings the lights to the next level for sure. Yeah. Can um, you can is there any way maybe you could show show you the show us the, the what's going on with the app? Yeah sure, let me grab my phone quickly. Sure. And meanwhile, while he is grabbing the phone, if you look over here, these are the X4. And what's cool about them is besides underneath this glass, the, all the lens that's in it is a silicone lens and you never have to worry about it burning out, which is far different from the traditional LED manufacturers in our industry. Now, with that said, let's go back to Anthony. So this is the dashboard, the all right. control room, hence the name control room. Sure. And these are all the different aquariums that are controlled by this device or my profile. Sure. And then these are the aquariums that have been shared with me so I can control them from anywhere in the world. So there's a couple of Instagrammers there. Um, so let's play with a tank here. So this particular tank is in Los Angeles in the unique corals facility. Mm -hmm. One device isn't connected because it's this device that we brought today this one here <laughs> but you can see the other two so we can go into the schedule screen and it's all connected to Amazon web servers as well so your profile goes with you everywhere you go and you've got your normal screen there uh, this one's pretty cool the public schedules mm -hmm. so if you're a famous youtuber store content creator you can actually be invited to upload your settings and users can download your settings directly into your profile and you put your Instagram handle so it's quite community driven as well. Gotcha. And then my schedules are where, where your schedules are saved mm -hmm. and then here you go. It's just your basic um, 
sunrise, sunset over 24 hours, mm -hmm. and your precise spectral control as well. So as you toggle the dials, the actual spectrum graph changes as well. So it's very realistic mm -hmm. uh, representation of how the spectrum changes. You got what you see is what you get most. So you can go straight to camera, take photos, go back to the app, and without affecting your schedule. Um, I won't save that. I'll go back, or else Joe will get mad at me. Uh, <laughs> and then the two more features. Sure. One is the moonlight feature. Mm -hmm. you can turn it off and on based on your location around the world. Sure. But the coolest feature is geolocation. So we've got a weather station on four reefs around the world. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it takes your schedule. And it mimics it. It mimics it based on cloud coverage, if it's a thunderstorm or not. There's no lightning and no, it's not visually moving or anything mm -hmm. like that throughout the tank. But your spectral, your, your spectrum changes ever so slightly a thousand times a day wow. based on the weather of these particular reefs. And that's two years and 20,000 hours and just some craziness there. That's so incredible. That's why I haven't been able to come to the US for three years. I've been <laughs> gotcha. working away. So. But I think it was well worth the effort. It looks beautiful. It's very intuitive and it's it's very smooth. And Thank the you. most important thing is that, you know, you'll be, you be able to use it well. But I mean, it looks very functional. It's very fluid. I like what I see. Thank you. Thank you. Very good job. Yeah. Now, then, for those people yeah. that are looking, can you show us how easy this is to take off and yeah. maybe show the, um, the, you know, like to replace sure. a puck or lens or whatever? Sure. So you can check. So lenses, you should never have to change because it's a lifetime warranty. Yeah. Literally forever. But if you do want to change the spectrum, say if you go from a marine tank to a freshwater tank, Mm -hmm. or if you go from a reef tank to at these shows everyone wants super blue yeah all you have to do is just twist this lens take it off mm -hmm. four screws another four screws and plug in your new spectrum so it probably takes about three minutes per cluster yeah and you can go from yeah reefer to aquascaper to fragger very cool in 15 minutes very awesome yeah now let's talk about the great white. I know that last time we spoke, uh, that was a bit, bit while ago, and you guys yes. had the AC pumps, and now I believe you guys have a DC pumps, right? Exactly. Yeah. You, I think you guys did the first ever video on the AC back in like 2018 or something. Right. Um, and that skim is still around. It's a workhorse, yes. still around the GW5 and 10. Mm -hmm. uh, three years ago, we updated to the DC7. 12, 17, and 22. Mm -hmm. So we've got here the Baby 7. Yeah. It's like a 180 gallon sized uh, skimmer. Yeah. Fully DC controllable and will also be on the same Lua ecosystem app in the next eight months as really? well. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And there's a GW22. Mm -hmm. And what most people don't know is we actually have a GW30, which is like a big, big boy. Tall. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, and then the return pumps. And wave makers are something new to the US. Okay. And they will also be on the Lua ecosystem app within the next eight months to 12 months as well. Oh, these are pan arrays, right? They're pan arrays, yep. Yeah. Wow, these could move some serious water. I only, it's funny because I to see them here because usually I see them in public aquariums. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You actually see these in a WOC setup with the. Community. Yeah. I remember when this one was first coming out, this actually wasn't black, this was crystal color, like clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yes. years ago. <laughs> we were, we just discontinued that one. Today. Yeah. So it's going to be only the ECM 42 Pros mm -hmm. uh, that we'll be selling. Um, so the clear ones are going to be no more. <laughs> so this little one, how many gallons per hour is this? This this. This, this is uh, 3,000 gallons. 3,000 gallons. Yeah. Gotcha, this is gotcha. 16,000. 16,000. Yeah. Gosh. That's crazy. I think it's what, like 10 inches? Something like that? Yeah, like eight. Yeah. Jeez. And if you want to add more width, to it, this is the honeycomb basket for this ECM 63. Okay. So you install it right over it to protect it from any invertebrates, from fish getting in. And I imagine because of all the all the, the holes and stuff like that, it's kind of like dilute, dilute the flow as well. Right? It doesn't dilute it at all. No. In my opinion. Okay. So it kind of keeps it all really well protected without reducing the performance. Of it. Gotcha, gotcha. And that's awesome. 16,000 gallons, you said? Yeah, 16,000. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. So if you guys have a size of an Andrews tank, then maybe something like this is an <laughs> option for you. 
I don't know, maybe I'll stick it to my Nano. <laughs> That's awesome. And how much does something like this run? Uh, they're going for 2300 2400 around there. Um, Considering its power, it's not that bad. If you were to like look at a, like MP60 or something like that, and you have multiples of that, you know, to add up to the, the gallons per hour, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. That's awesome. And what kind of warranty does this come with? Uh, they all have one year warranty on them. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And then you guys get this from Unique Corals? Yes, from Unique Corals. Gotcha. Uh, so we can carry all the Panerai products from the Hydro Wizard series, so mm -hmm. the Hydro Tube. Gotcha. Uh, this is fairly new to the market, the inline um, closed loop. I've seen this years ago. Like you guys, they, they posted about this. Yeah. I and then Kai was talking about this before. Yeah. I think it was on Reef Builders. Um, yeah. They did an article on it. But this is the ECM42 Hydro Tube. Mm -hmm. um, it uses the same pump motor as the ECM42 Pro. Okay. Um, See it right in here. You'll unscrew it, and you'll see the pump right inside. Yeah. Just remove the screen intake, and it's gotcha. the same pump as the 42. Gotcha. Is it titanium or? All, all the anything metal on these um, pumps are titanium. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's easy. Very, uh, very cool. I actually haven't had a chance. I seen this on the app. I mean, the, on the, as an ad, but I haven't seen see this in person. Um, is there any open one that we could take a look we at this? Or? Literally sold it like an hour ago. Oh no! So, <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things. We thought, you know, three o'clock. Rich is not going to come and see us. Ah. Sell it, so it's gone. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> but they're all over, um, yeah, Delore.com. Delore.com. Unicorals.com. Unicorals.com. We've got a bit of a partnership this year with Unique. So Unique Corals are, their corals are inside. Yeah. The dry goods are out here and we're just kind of sharing in the fun house. So. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, guys, for thank showing you. me around. Um, and you guys have a fantastic products. And I can't wait to see more further innovation from you guys. And hopefully uh, see you at more US shows. Maybe, maybe Rick Pool is in New York. New York. Just got back from Denver, so I need some rest. So gotcha, gotcha. We'll see. Gotcha. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So there is another one here, and this is from Colorado Aquarium Wholesale. And so what was really, really cool about the lights that was that I found here was this. This is a 12-inch light over here, and. These are like a light bar. And what's cool about this one was that you go connect here, here, here. Oh, sorry. Oh, you go connect over there. You go connect those lights. I'm sorry, I, I had to pull that back, pull out because the thing is that I wasn't aware that they were shooting a video over there. I just noticed, I'm sorry. Poor etiquette. Uh, Rap California. I'm going to try. It's it's not easy, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna talk to my boss. You know, I apologize. I didn't know you were shooting. I was just talking in the back. And I just noticed the, like a camera. I'm like, oh no! I was thinking alive, and I'm like, oh! I apologize. No, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. You want to grab a few of those? So this is a 12-inch unit. And what's really cool about this unit here is that this actually connects units like this together. So, and then making it flush. So something like this was really neat. And using the existing RMS mount from Ecotech, I mean, you have to modify it just a little bit, but I mean, something like this is like very nice flush looking. And this actually all connects like this. And I believe they said that you could connect up to eight units into a single ballast. And what I like also is that they use mean well ballast instead of the traditional Chinese ballast that you see in the Chinese lights. So that was really neat. And quality is something that I could really appreciate, and I'm pretty sure most of you will appreciate it as well. And what's the also cool thing about this is that they use different type of diodes over here, and it's the what's really important, I think, is the app. Because if you can't use it functionally, it's not really, no matter how good the light is, if you can't utilize all the functions of the light, it's not really that good, is it? So what's really cool about that uh, for me is that when I saw him use the app, everything was intuitive, everything was fluid, and best part yet is that it's not even complete yet. So there is so much more that they could do to improve upon it. And I'm excited to see what they do. And then let me see if I could just grab the owner real quick so he could maybe show us how the app works for you guys. 
How are you? <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> good, good. Sorry to put you on the spot. No, we were doing a live uh, real quick. Do you mind if, if you could maybe show me your app on this uh, light, please? So the app we have is actually not our app. It's just a demo app that we're using. Our mm -hmm. app is in production. Uh, but I can just show you guys a very quick overview. Actually, if you want to come over here, Richard, I can show you the spectrometer as well. Oh! Uh, so we have ah. the IGC spectrometer. Yeah. And you can really see all the spectrums real time. So these lights are multi-channel. Uh, this is our full spectrum whites. Mm -hmm. And this basically contains a 480 nanometer plus mm -hmm. warm whites and cool whites. Okay. The warm whites and cool whites already have the red and green spectrum in them, as you can see in the spectrometer. So no need for those additional diodes. Mm -hmm. uh, this Oops, right, sorry. <laughs> uh, this right here is our blue channel. Mm -hmm. uh, it has diodes that are 440, 450, and 460 nanometer. Yeah. All these diodes are custom built for us. Yes. Oh, sorry. No, no, you're good. Uh, and this last channel is our violet channel. Mm -hmm. um, this has diodes that are 385, 395, uh, 405, and 420 nanometers. Okay. So between the three of these, you can literally create any spectrum combination that you would like. Yeah. Except for a red peak, which you can't with this. But well, you don't want to be one red, red anyways, because <laughs> then you have algae everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. So this is really, uh, we tried to make it from a reefer's perspective or a reef tank perspective. Yeah. Uh, and this literally covers, uh, you know, all the spectrums. One more thing about these bars. Um, each 12 inch bar uh, mm -hmm. dissipates about 20 watts of power. Yeah. And you can use that entire 20 watts on any channel. Yeah. So you are not limited to six and a half watts per channel. You mm -hmm. can use the entire 20 watts on the violet, on the blues, on the full spectrum whites yeah. to uh, get the full rated power. Uh, and something else that's truly unique about these is if you look at the lens over here, these are some lenses that you will not find on any other lights. So essentially, a lot of lights nowadays, they have diffusers. And what happens with diffusers? You lose so much light. You lose about 20-30% of light just from the spillage. I now, can kind of see what you're talking about because this one you can see it not in, on top of the lens. You can mm -hmm. see the, you can see the reflectors all it's, around it. Exactly. So yeah. what we have done is we have actual diffusers on the diodes mm -hmm. to create the proper blending. And then we have the actual reflective lens that yeah. will push the light straight down to give the lens effect. Yeah. So you have a perfectly blended light yeah. with the actual effect of the lens, which gives you great far, uh, great readings, great spread. That's awesome. Now, is this out in the market right now, or when is when is this unit coming out? Uh, so we are anticipating these units to land in the U.S. in about a month and a half to two months. Mm -hmm. uh, we entered the production phase about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, we're going all scale for light. And uh, I, if I remember correctly, I, I think these are $75 a piece, right? Yes, that is the target price point. Uh, mm -hmm. So each 12-inch bar is going to be $75. Yep. Uh, you will also have to purchase a power supply, the mm -hmm. Moonbill 175 power supply, right. which is which, going to be about $75-ish, $80. Right, and then uh, they also power up to eight of these bars. Exactly. So with gotcha. that one power supply, you can power eight of these guys. Gotcha. Uh, and the controller, so we, uh, we are going to have a starter pack that's going to have two of these bars, mm -hmm. one power supply, one controller, at a retail price of $250. Gotcha. And then each additional bar is going to be $75 each. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I'm thank sorry you. to interrupt your shoot. <laughs> I didn't know that you're, I thought you guys are just talking and not shooting. So <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, poor etiquette of my, I apologize. You're good. <laughs> Have a great show. Thank you for showing me. All right, thank you, Richard. Take care. All right, so we're going over here real quick. Let's see. Oh, uh, we know these guys over here. Tommy, hey, what's hey, up? Hey. We have a celebrities in the house. This guy, this guy, this guy. <laughs> It's me. All right, yep. everybody, don't forget to get your oh, my nemesis, Greg. So here we are. So we get have. In those buckets. All right. Can't if you don't play. So this is their X Aquas. I believe this is a 3.0. Yes. This is a 3.0 unit that you could yeah. multi tester. It's a fifth all in one tester that, that you probably. Like it has all, all the parameters you probably would need to test in a single unit. I like about I like this unit a lot. Um, I did a video on this and I actually got a pretty good feedback over the weekend on what they thought of the video and etc. Um, what one thing that I like to highlight is that I, um, this actually is a firmware like a firmware revisionable. Like um, you could update uh, using firmware. And what's cool about that is that. Over the time, if there's any improvements and such and additional features that could be easily added using those updates. So that just making it a little bit more future-proof 
for me was a good you know like a good investment in these type of machine that are you know like I mean it's, it's a premium product yeah. and just you know for you to for me to invest in a, such a premium product having a little bit of a little bit of a future proof in everything it just made me a little bit more happier in the investment and this is a good thing I also one thing that I said before on the video one thing that I didn't like was the wait time on the phosphate I let the uh, the manufacturers know maybe they'll change it in the f uh, in the future that will be great if they do because you know I mean I'm very impatient when it comes to testing and I'm, I believe a lot of people are as well and I know why they did it because they did it to for pre precision reasons but you know you can skip the timer you can skip the timer I can you skip can, it? You can skip the timer. The accuracy would be a little bit less than you should. Uh -huh. But if you do uh, regularly, you know yeah. the you know your parameter. Yeah. So if you skip the timer, you mm -hmm. can do it. Just skip it. But the accuracy would be lit little bit less than Okay, you you're want. gonna have you're gonna have to show me how to skip it. Okay, okay. I will. Cool. Awesome. Well that that fixes my issue right there. Awesome. Alright guys, thanks for watching that and then we're gonna let me see, you have a question real quick. Let me answer that question for you. Uh, you said the name of the light company, which light company? One that light company was the, the Lua. And if you're looking for the modular light, it was over here uh, from Colorado Aquarium Wholesale. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Sorry, sorry to bother no worries, you. No uh, what is the name of this light again? So they're Ultra Bars. Ultra Bars. Yes. That's gotcha. Reef Delight is the company that makes it. Reef Delight. Yep. Gotcha. Thank you so much. You bet. All right, guys, I hope that answered your question for you. Let's just do a quick uh, run through because I have to do a lot more videos. But I just wanted to give you the show and the feel of how what's going on today and then what's what's Cal, how are you, buddy? Hello, bro. <laughs> all right, all right. What's going on right now as it is happening? And we are here at Smarter Reefs. Hey, Hi, James, how are you? Can I bother you for a few minutes? Yeah. Perfect. Now you guys have you guys are always working on something. Yeah, we're always something innovating. awesome. Exactly. Yeah. Now tell me what's going on here today. So if you're used to our self-cleaning protein skimmer that we released at last year's Reef of Palooza, right? It's a, a new design where the bubbles come up and break onto a fleece material. So yeah. we call it a coupless skimmer. There's no cup to clean, so it's fully automated. The motor turns on once a day and cleans the skim mate out of the protein skimmer. Most people thought it looked like a roller mat, so we did some thinking and decided that it can also be a roller mat. So version two is also a roller mat. So we've machine some slots into the bottom mm -hmm. of the skimmer so now the skimmer can be plumbed with your one inch drain mm -hmm. the water goes in there there's a thousand gallons per hour getting pumped into there right now the water gets uh filtered through the fleece on the bottom and then on the top you're getting the same protein skimmer action we have a recirculating protein skimmer pump on the inside of the chamber that you can see from the front there it's generating the micro bubbles they're coming up and breaking onto the filter fleece so this unit actually replaces your filter socks and your skimmer cup so instead of cleaning your skimmer cup and your socks every couple of days this can go about a month or five weeks without changing it we also have two models this size is rated for a 150 gallon aquarium and the mm -hmm. bigger model um, that's also just released for this show uh, can handle up to a 500 gallon system we, we, yeah we've been talking about this unit for a little bit yeah it takes <laughs> two inch uh, drains in the back there it has 18 inch wide fleece it's a 60 micron fleece yeah and it's also washable with our loose cooling system mm -hmm. you can wash this in your washing machine just like you would a filter sock if you're worried about the either the, the cost of, or the uh the actual you know wasting the material mm -hmm. you can throw it in your washing machine press the pedal and it'll be re-spooled up onto your roll so you can reuse it again so it takes about 10 minutes to do a re-spooling if you don't want to do that you can just purchase a new roll a roll of the smaller ones around 24 dollars and then mm -hmm. the larger one we're estimating to be around 60 dollars gotcha that's awesome so now, a lot of people have, were asking questions. I know you have some accessories for these. If, can you do ozone on this? Um, you can, yes. We have an ozone adapter that uh, we can 3D print and manufacture for you, mm -hmm. or you can actually download it yourself and make it. Um, but we also have a CO2 scrubber attachment, so you can do recirculating CO2. And then you can also dose lanthanum chloride. The best way to dose lanthanum chloride or the phosphate removal agents are to uh, slow drip it into the skimmer. The skimmer is going to bind to the chelated um, material that precipitates yeah. and uh, remove it from the system. For so you. if you were to, let's say, for people that dose this lanthanum chloride, how would they dose it in your skimmer? Can you maybe show us where, where yeah. you insert it? Um, what I like to do is um, have a little container and then put it on a dosing pump. And yeah. then we can either have an adapter or you can just put the tube through the output here. And then it'll actually drip onto that fleece mat and okay. into the bubbles. Gotcha, gotcha. Awesome. And then how much would something like this would cost? 
Uh, the larger one is around $900 mm -hmm. uh, US, and then if you want the skimmer function, then uh, it's around $200 extra for the pump. Gotcha. And then that comes with the fleece roll and the skimmer pump. So around $1,100 uh, for the 500 gallon system. The retail price for the smaller one is $550 US dollars, yep. and that also replaces the roller mat and a skimmer. So instead of spending $450 on a roller mat and $350 or $400 on a skimmer, mm -hmm. uh, it's $550 and it includes both features. It's also space saving. You can drop the unit right into your existing skimmer chamber. Yep. and um, it's a one-inch plumbing, so you can just connect your existing draining right into the system. Gotcha. Another question, how much is this filter uh, the roller? The refuse is uh, 150 Replace. US dollars. 150. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And you said that it will take about like 10 minutes to re-spool everything? Exactly. Gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. All right. Well, thank you so much, James, oh, for taking, you, taking some it. time to show me everything that's been going around. You know, every time I come, you guys are always having something new, and it's exciting. That's true, man. Next, <laughs> next year, we got to think of something new, too. So for sure. Uh, another question is that you guys also had, what initially caught my attention was, the, um, you know, adding all this plus algae filter uh -huh. on it. Are you guys still going on with uh, um, a turf algae? Yeah, we also have a turf algae scrubber. We didn't bring it to this show because we have so many new products. Right, right. Um, but yeah, we do have a turf algae scrubber, roller mat, and protein skimmer all in one refiltration device. You can see that on our Instagram and also our website. What's your website? Smarterreefs.com. Perfect. Thank you so much, James. All right, thanks, Richard. Take care. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. And let's see. So let's first check out here, Deltec first. We got some Deltec over here. Quality European parts. You know, when Jake was still with us, he said that this uh, protein skimmer, I mean, I'm sorry, his calcium reactor was the best that he had ever seen. And it's clearly clear to see why. I mean, it's the closest thing that you would get for automatic. And just the build quality and everything efficiency of these type of units is just astounding it's amazing and if you look at the sump right here the filter floss roller as well as their sumps and their protein skimmer line and then they're having a business meeting right there so I'll just won't bother them any questions my name is Matt guys thanks Matt absolutely he's alright you're Absolutely them. gorgeous. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Likewise. Good, good. All right. So we're over here in Quality Marine. So how you doing, guys? How's we're it going? Kevin. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? <laughs> good, good. We're actually good live show. right now. Oh yeah, fantastic show. Hi, who, who's who's this guy right here? <laughs> now, I was wondering if I could have grab one of you guys and maybe show off some of the pumps and products that you guys have over there? Yeah, absolutely. We can uh, head right over here. Sure. You know, I I love that. I yeah. you know I love aquaculture. I love the the advance, advancements that we are making and everything making everything sustainable. Yeah, our new uh, debut of our EcoScape um, artificial live rock. Okay. Right over here. Yeah. But these are I, all these rocks are these, right? All Eco of those rocks are these. Okay. Um, in fact, it's actually consistent coloration throughout, ubiquitous coloration throughout the actual piece. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, hyperporosity uh, is the factor that we are using for naming it uh, because you may not see it uh, with the naked eye right here, but our Tigrio, uh, our Tigrio Plus copepods are actually yeah. floating all around inside of here. Um, we just did one bottle and it's actually been reproducing enough to feed the fish uh, over really? the entire course of the weekend. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, for our nutrient uh, Inside of there are lots and as clownfish, which we were the aquacultures of. Right. Um, brought it back from the brink, the wideband ones that we right. were selling retail for over $1,500 wild caught. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did I? Did I see a purple tang here, tang here before? Yes, we uh, actually still have the uh, the purple tang, our aquaculture purple tang. Right. Uh, it is With the Red Sea variant, the uh, after Red Sea variant of the uh, purple ah, tang that's yeah, the green. Right, they're hiding in the back. Yep. See the, see the shadow. Yeah, you can see the shadow of him hiding over there. A big benefit of this is because it is cast off of real uh, floral pieces and everything. Yeah. Um, through so many different shapes and sizes. It actually does have a lot of those natural alcoves you would see if you were even scuba diving mm -hmm. inside of them. 
um, oh, it looks more just of our right. aquaculture fish, some of our aquaculture um, cardinals, the cotton bang guys. Right, bang guys. Um, we're just helping out some guests, educating them more about our team and sure. products that we are newly debuting over here. Awesome. Um, we flow pumps, as well as our uh, new Vectin Titan UVs that we are bringing over. Mm -hmm. um, these are sold um, by the pallet. Uh, over in the side of Europe, one of the number one UVs. Uh, our choice uh, for UV actually inside of our uh, livestock wholesale, the largest livestock wholesale in the US, if not the world, um, inside of it is a special patented uh, effect, uh, catalyzing effect, so that way you can actually uh, get the effect of ozone without any of the dangers or hazards to your family or yourself mm -hmm. um, in there. Increasing water clarity, increasing sterility of the water, um, decreasing problems down the line, while being 1.3 times more effective than the other UV sterilizer with less power draw. Yeah. That's crazy. And it, it didn't look that even, it didn't even look that big when I was looking over there. It doesn't even look that big. It actually draws the water through the system right. uh, over there, then pumps it out down over through there. Mm -hmm. um, it has a good amount of flow, gallons per hour, so that way you are keeping up with that flow inside of your entire system. Um, the new Titan Vectin over here actually has titanium components inside, so that way it can have a longer life um, inside of your marine system, not having to worry as much about uh, uh, saltwater erosion that could occur mm -hmm. to any of your equipment uh, because yeah. now the new Titan is available. Um, over here, our Reflow 2.0 um, nano wave makers and circulation pumps yeah. are actually available as well. Um, the smaller ones here are going to be retailing around $100 only. Mm -hmm. um, the smaller versions also have a USB DC power supply okay. um, for emergency use. Fantastic. A lot of power outages, especially over here in uh, Florida where there were hurricanes and everything can be ran should be able to be ran uh, right off of any emergency like power, uh, power or bricks or right. something like that so you guys are keeping up the flow of your system um, easy to unscrew off the heads right over there um, comes with three free heads um, for different kinds of waveforms right over there as well as uh, a increase and decrease of the actual intensity of the flow through it right over on there how um, many wattages are these uh, those guys are going to be, uh, the wattages are included, oh, no, those are the UVs. Wattages are right over here, max power 5 watt, 10 watt, 15 watt, 26 watt, 52 watt, so very, very low power draw um, for being able to potentially save your tank from having no flow. Um, yeah, different kinds of waveforms, uh, reef mode, continuous stream mode, and pulse mode. Yeah, uh, very simple and uh, straightforward uh, actual. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a question about your UV? Yeah, feel free to go ahead. So the Titan, Titan one, this one here, right? Yeah. I noticed that the, the I could see the the quartz inside here, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. And then, but this is I noticed that it's a plastic encasing. Um, is is not, is it not going to be hot enough to like damage the encasing over time? So a lot of the TMC products over here actually have the water circulation through it, much like a lot of high end PCs. Right, um, like a water kind of water cooled. Right? Water cooled. Um, yeah. So that way you can actually uh, keep on maintaining the flow rate, the high flow rate. These actually are able to go up to higher uh, uh, amounts of gallons mm -hmm. for tanks and everything yeah. than ones of its comparable size. Got uh, it. I believe this one can go all the way up to, I thought it was like around uh, 224 gallons or so yeah. on the 850. Um, and uh, that is how it is actually able to prevent itself from getting a little bit too overheated while it's doing all of that over a consistent basis. And this type of UV, this size, uh, how many gallons, uh, I mean, I mean, what size tank I could put up to? Um, I believe you should be able to, this is the 550 right over here. Um, you should be able to do the 550s right over there. Uh, max uh, weight dimensions, one outlet. Um, Noah, do you know I see it right here. I see yeah. it right here. It's a 145. Yeah, 145 gallon, and then yeah, 224, just like what I was saying before. Right, right. Um, for that other one over there. Perfect. Yeah, um, 1.3 times more effective, um, and then that special catalyzing effect, so that way you are getting the effect of having those in without any of the dangers. Yeah, and also uh, then there into uh, the clarity of the actual water. What I really like, like what 
caught my eye when I was here last time was actually these pumps as well. Yeah. Because thing, what's really cool about this, like I know that you could just drop it down all the way and then just just suck it from the all, all the way to like a very minimum amount of water. Yeah, it's actually a uh, down here like a soda bottle kind of shape and form. Yeah. yeah. So it actually draws it down <laughs> up through. Same kind of way I was talking about over there. Actually yeah. runs the uh, the water mm -hmm. up. Past the impeller and everything like that, yeah. so that way it is not overheating or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Same thing over here also. Uh, the smaller ones do come with the capability of using a USB. Mm -hmm. um, they also have a controller to um, control the uh, speed, control the speed and the right. intensity of everything, and mm -hmm. also be able to turn it off. Yeah. Um, DC also for power supply, so mm -hmm. it is also lower energy base. Perfect. Um, the uh, Repump Compact comes in the 350 nano, the 500, the 1525. Uh, 100, 5,000, and 10,000. Yeah. Um, and it comes so that way it actually can reach a max flow rate all the way up of 2,641 gallons per hour wow. um, in the 10,000. Yeah. And Jeez, that's, like a, that's almost like a return pump right there. Yeah, almost <laughs> like a return pump right over here. Uh, still DC, so it's still going to be able to do a lower power energy draw. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, uh, the self cooling system is something that I had mentioned, the base lead water intake. And mm -hmm. also the uh, ultra compact space design uh, is extremely convenient because all the models come with the two outlet sizes mm -hmm. uh, for the actual options. The um, other really cool thing that I don't think it necessarily mentions over here is that a lot of the actual components for it are actually a lot easier to maintenance than you may initially expect. Um, you are actually able to take this apart for servicing, mm -hmm. for servicing your own tanks and everything like that a lot easier. Um, you're, you may notice that there's not a whole lot of screws on here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of more of a clip kind of design I believe um, so that way you can get into it and the inner workings and just like with the reflow 2.0 um, it is very straightforward in the actual components of it so that way you can go through and kind of troubleshoot what any problems would be for a longer shelf life. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and educating our viewers about your new yeah. products. I'm excited to see them. When are these units coming out to you uh, to the state side? Um, uh, we actually have a, a good number of them primarily right now. Um, okay. We have a large shipment coming in uh, along with our new artificial live rock yeah. um, here within, I believe, about a week. Mm -hmm. You should be seeing these show up inside of stores like maybe even like Worldwide Corals and a lot of the other larger ones um, all across the U.S. Yeah. Uh, and actually inside of a lot of institutions as well um, uh, pretty shortly here. Um, That's awesome. It will be a big help for also decreasing the amount of uh, energy and everything like that that actually is devoted to aquariums which we all know is very very expensive yes um, also <laughs> on the total population right right yeah. so for those of you guys who are looking for these check out the local fish stores if you if you don't see them please ask them to contact quality marine so they could get it for you between free fish stores yeah. thank you so much for showing me all these thank stuff you, richard have a great really show yeah okay kevin congratulations on purple tank by the way yeah Congrats on Purple Tang. Thank you very much. <laughs> you guys deserve it. It's awesome. How you doing? All right. So, man, this show, this booth was packed. It was like jamming. How are you, Antonio? I'm doing good, guys. How are you? Good. We are actually doing live. I'm sorry to bombard you. That's okay. I'm sorry, Richard One. Two. I'm already wired up for Richard. And yeah. And David. <laughs> oh, you see, you already all wired you up. <laughs> Can you show me just real quick the, the new stuff that you unveiled in the show? I would love to, but we sold out of most of it. <laughs> oh no! However, I do have our new quarter, single quarter inch kit. This is replacing our old water box kit. Yeah. And it's adding an additional adapter. Mm -hmm. So now this one kit is not only just water box cube and peninsula, mm -hmm. it's also going to be the Fluval uh, Evo and Spec V, yeah. as well as Lifeguard Aquatics and 20 millimeter fittings. Or fittings. And so basically, one kit fits all of those scenarios right there now. Awesome. But that's true for all of our flow kits. All of our flow kits are getting the whole, you know, upgrade process with the new flex, the new adapters, the new multi adapters. So basically, it's, it's never been easier to add a random flow generator to your tank. Super awesome. Easy. So if you want to also get a more detailed information, you will check out our video at reefs.com. We have a Richard one over here doing all the heavy lifting for me today. And oh, one, one more thing I yes. forgot to mention. So this is one of our newest tanks, our newest flow kits. 
It's a Pico Tank Flow Kit. Ah, for PNW. Yeah, so PNW, but also it's going to fit like Imaginarium. You're going to buy it like Petco and PetSmart. Mm -hmm. It's also going to fit the Flu Balls, like yeah. the smaller tanks. Right, right. It's going to fit the CJ Shark, both the Pro and the regular. Okay. So you can pop a random flow generator right on the end of that. Yeah. I just found out it's actually going to fit the smaller uh, um, uh, tanks that are uh, kind of the cream offers, which is the tie lines, the small tie lines. Like right, right. Like gallons and smaller. Yeah. It just plugs right into it. It's That's super awesome. Easy. So check it out. It's going to fit micro tanks. It's going to fit the small in one. It's going to fit the pico tanks. It's also going to fit the ocean box designs tank. Yeah. Uh, five gallon and smaller flu balls. Like all kinds of little tiny pico, which is all the rage right now. Right? That's awesome. Everybody's yeah. Using oh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually even considering getting one, the 40 ounce one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got one of those. How are you liking yours? It's fun. I mean, it's easy. You just For sure. kind of take a little water out, pull a little water in. And right, just, right, right, right. That's thing. done. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Antonio. I'll let you get back with Richard One. Cool, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Enjoy your show. All right, so here we go, here we go. Let's see if we could go to the, the go back to the Aperture booth because last time we went over there, they were really busy and we weren't able to really get the full gist of what was going on in their booth, but we'll be able to find out just what they have been up to. Let's go. Once again, we're passing the Coral Views booth right here. Planet Aquariums. There we go. Sean, are you busy? Uh, for what? For a live video? Uh, yeah, I'm too busy. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, so uh, I would like to a little bit know a little bit about the NIOS products that you guys have okay. out here. So I know this is a new tank. Uh, which line is this? This is our new uh, Opus G2 line that's okay. coming out from NIOS. Uh, this is directly uh, brought in from Germany. Uh, it's probably one of two in the U.S. right now. This is probably the first public in the U.S. Yeah. Um, as you can tell, it's definitely different. Right? That's what we're, uh, you said Norm. Now, mm -hmm. NIOS does have an intention. If you look at the stand, uh, you, know, you can see that this one has edges. This is the pro variant. So yeah. you can see how sturdily and heavily built this, this is. This thing, like I mentioned earlier in the earlier, like a earlier part of the live video, this thing is built like a tank. And they even put sealant right here so that water doesn't get trapped in here and splashes. Now, they also do a slimmer line that's going to be coming out too with the mm -hmm. traditional style stand too for those that. Uh, maybe it's not their flavor. Yeah. Right? But you can just see like the type of German engineering that's involved all the way from their overflow. Uh, you can see this is not, this is cut through the glass and fitted in. This is not something where it's like, uh, you know, two circular holes cut in four hole cats, right? That's what we might see in the norm. So it's really well thought through. Uh, obviously, it's paired with our Ecotech products. Uh, this is their Niles fish trap that's been making a huge hit lately. Uh, it's probably actually the funnest interactive thing that's been at the show all day. Yep. Uh, but it's it's very simple concept. Right, Ryan. Very clean. People are people are mentioning that it's, this this thing is very very clean. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, if you're here in person, it it, it, it doesn't do it justice. Uh, and I think Richard could vouch for that. So something else I want to show you, like where they got really uh, creative. If you look at the front panel, if you look at these the, the, the seams, seams, right? Yeah. This is the full size front panel. But if you go to the back, right? And no one really does this. The back panel is actually shorter. So that way, when they when they put it together, they do it for specific reasons. Because if this back panel went all the way across, mm -hmm. what would you see on this side, on this corner, right? You'll see the right. black. Black, black line, right. But this is how they could keep it like clear throughout. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then I know there's something that's hiding over here. It, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. That this is a uh, Nile salt. Yep, it's their so, new salt. Um, Everything is up in front out on it so you can see just even right here uh what your parameters that you're expecting to get out of it and it's measured at 35 ppt you know 
and looks uh, like every batch looks looks to be uh, ICP tested from China. Correct. And so, then if you scan that, I guess you can see the actual exactly numbers. Exactly what the parameters of that exact batch is. Right? Is this out in U.S. right now, or will it be coming out? It is available. Out? It's available. available yeah. And then so, where can people pick this up from, and how much does uh, as it? As of right now, so you will start to see this in stores very shortly. Okay. Uh, fortunately, if you want it right now, I think VRS uh, is a uh, place where you can pick it up. Mm -hmm. uh, but you will start to see this locally available in many stores. And yeah. If you don't see it in your store, mm -hmm. I would suggest you tell them. Yeah. Um, there's always ways they get special order through this for you and stuff like that. And I highly encourage you to visit your local stores and support them. Yeah. Right. Alright guys, 15 and, minutes, 15 uh, minutes. My, my, my nemesis, Greg, <laughs> he knows this, he knows I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so how much would something like this cost? That I don't know off the top of my head. I'll, I'll, I'll be frank with you, it is a premium salt, so do expect the premium prices for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, like it's all manufactured in Germany, so it's... it's I was talking to uh, Christian and Matthias, yeah. he, I didn't know they're, uh, they're doctors. <laughs> yeah. They're PhD. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're smart. Humble, they're the sweetest, humblest people the bunch I've ever met. Yeah. But they're incredibly smart. They are. That they are. Yeah. yeah. And then um, they, they, they were telling me that they were making everything in-house just yeah. to, keep, to keep everything in, like, under control. The, all the quality you know, like that they, they need in order to produce the Absolutely. finest salt. They're some of the most passionate aquas I've got to meet in this industry. Yeah, you know, where they have their own coral store too. Yeah, exactly. The white, white, white uh, corals, yeah, white coral yeah. is is yeah. possibly one of the nicest store I've ever seen. They, their level of attention to detail, the the amount of like quality that they want to emphasize on. Right. But yeah, you know, I think it's there's no one's a stranger to understand that Nios is not a very value specific brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But. That's not catering towards someone that's looking for the cheapest salt. They're right. looking for the highest quality. Right, right. And they'll stand behind it when they're saying. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's for me, it's kind of funny when people are like nickel and diming like salts, for example, I mean, but, but won't flinch when they have to spend $500, $1,000 on, on, a, on a coral frag. And yet exactly. they'll. Are, and it's like if you we, look at a human perspective, right? It's like you'll spend thousands of dollars on a vacation to go to some tropical island with the cleanest hair, right? Or you could, you know, you could go to some uh, some slummy area where like you're, it's just nothing but smog, right? It's mm -hmm. like uh, that quality should be represented to not only your life, but you know what what you're what you're keeping alive. You know, it matters right. to them too. Right, absolutely. When we pluck these animals out of the ocean, we have a responsibility as a hobbyist to give them an environment they could thrive in, absolutely. and just to just to cut costs and and especially in a water keeping hobby, you know, the water is the single most important thing that that we have to care for it and you know like control of. True. And absolutely. to cheap out on that, I think it's just ludicrous. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's you know we're not saying like you you know. You should you know, dish out and shell out on their wallets either like I get it you know but like you know I think we owe a service to our fish whether it's going with Niles or anything like yeah. you know like we should to seek the best possible kind of living right. of that. course do your do your due diligence and see what you think your tank needs the most and go find that brand that you like you know I mean I'm not saying which brand is the best or etc that's besides the point but you know like finding the list the cheapest is usually, usually not the, the best thing Especially when it comes to salt, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna put you on a spot. I'm sorry, young. <laughs> it's okay, man. Uh, I know. I know. People have been say, talking about this. Yeah. When is it? Ah. Uh, 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 yeah, I know. I, I really appreciate everyone's patience on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing I can really say is we're one day closer every day, right? But we're, it's very soon. Uh, Last time I saw this, which I believe was a Macna, Wisconsin, yeah. right? You guys had two units in the whole country. Yeah. How many of you guys have? <laughs> that I don't know, but I'll say we have enough that are in the hands of users mm -hmm. right now. And this is what we're really being patient, taking our time on. So we want to do it right. It's not just the software in itself from Neptune, mm -hmm. but it's a, it's a conglomeration between you know, AI, AI and Ecotech, Ecotech, and their perspective software. Mm -hmm. So, you know, our engineers are working hard together yeah. to get everything right because. The key to this is having a stable platform, and right. we have guys testing it. You know, every day we are getting closer 
as we you know work out everything and we want to make sure that when we release them at sam mm -hmm. that it is you know reliable out of the box a great user experience you know? we don't want you to be like oh by the way it's in your hands but uh you know like wait for the updates for you to be able to use that's not a good experience right right, right. So, yeah have patience with us you know uh but soon yeah. very soon well i'll just say soon right hopefully q3 I can't say, I can't uh, say, uh, <laughs> it's guaranteed within my lifetime, so I don't get in trouble, but gotcha. uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty excited about it, and obviously, it's here, right, to show, so yeah. it, it's definitely helping us show that to our customers. Gotcha. Let's go over this way, sure. because there are actually one product that just landed uh, sure. at my doorsteps as I was leaving for, really? for wrap, yeah, which was this yeah, product over here. Size. And we have our friend over here, Devin. How you doing? He's my dude. <laughs> so, well, this is this is our uh, desktop fan. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Uh, this is the Nero Seven <laughs> desktop fan. Right. Uh, it's a beefy boy. Uh, so this is our solution to for people with tanks that maybe the Nero Five is strong enough because the, the glass thickness is too mm -hmm. thick. Okay. This could this could clamp down on up to 0.79 inches. So three quarter inch. Uh, glass people, you know, you're covered, right? This pushes up to 4,000 gallons per hour, mm -hmm. right? Uh, retail price on this is $299.99. So it's, you know, it's still within the right price ranges of what you would expect for any of the AI Nero products. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, even if you look at it in my hands, I, I don't know if people could tell the perception little, little of the beefy. size. Little beefy. Little beefy. Compared to the yeah. five and the three, especially like I mean, it's a little beefy. Like, I think it's size of like maybe like MP40 kind of. Yeah, you know, it's actually a little probably a little wider. Mm -hmm. And I'll say it's probably close to the uh, the AI equivalent of something what like the MP40 would be for performance, mm -hmm. right? Uh, All right, guys, this is pretty much your last <laughs> chance to buy raffle tickets. We're gonna be starting the raffle yeah, at 4 p.m. Just in a few minutes. The Nero Seven, and I purposely put a Nero Five on the back. Yeah. If you look from side to side, everyone thought that that was a Nero Three, right? I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah, it dwarfs it, you know. Uh, but as you can see, as far as how much it protrudes, it doesn't stick out that much further than the Nero Five does. Mm -hmm. But just but it's foot wider. Part, it's really wide. Right. Right. And then I was, I didn't get a chance to really look into depth. Um, do, do you mind if we can maybe take this uh, unit apart? Sure. And I know that the pillar was really thick. Yeah. yeah. You can see how easy it is to service this thing. Yeah. The magnet strength is a little strong. I might be able to go. There we go. So, I mean, you could just see. I noticed that inside here, this is magnetic inside, right? So you could just clamp, clamp on there tightly. Absolutely. So yeah, just be careful when you put it in. It's gonna just wanna seat itself. Mm -hmm. That's it. So after you do your maintenance, you just, uh, you just twist this back on. Uh, and it does come with the guard too as well, we just don't have it out. Uh, gotcha. But yeah, it's everything you love to expect from a Nero, not just uh, in a uh, super size. Right? What, I, what I usually do to clean this is like I run this in the lowest, lowest setting possible and uh -huh. I put them in a bucket full of water with citric acid. Yeah. In 30 minutes, man, you're good to go. Citric acid for sure. Yeah, right? uh, no vinegar. <laughs> citric uh, acid. And that's in general, uh, vinegar does... Uh, Ruin the rubber seals plastic. and such. The rubber seals are brittle. Yeah. yeah. So these are out in the market right now, right? They are out. They came out live as of Tuesday. Are you looking for the main aisle? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Look at Tom. He's, 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 interu yeah. he's, he's interrupting us. Apparently, you know. Apparently Tom, he, he just feels ignored <laughs> and he wants to be in the, the me, live. Me, me, me. Yes. <laughs> so. no, I'm trying to help your live stream views right now. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Good, man. good, good. good. Keep the fire. Where's yeah, your booth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No booth this year? I'm in a store mood. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So much. So this yeah. unit is out right now, and you said that how much this one was? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Gotcha. And you'll find them in uh, pretty much yeah, any local yeah, any, fish stores. Any authorized dealers. They're already yeah. out. Mm -hmm. uh, get them while you can. Uh, I mean, we're gonna we're doing our best to make sure that we have stock in hand. But yeah, we're really excited about it. Yeah. And then I see that blade hiding over there. Yeah. Um, you guys saw my video uh, review on and in the first outlook of the blade. This is one of the coolest new lights that they're coming out with their version that could actually go with all their ai lights as well as their popular radeon lights 
is something that you should definitely look into if you're looking for that supplemental lighting as well as a primary lighting source of your tank because this surprisingly enough provides enough spectrum and par that you need for some of your aquariums and oh one thing that i meant to ask is that um um is the the, the fixtures that um let's say that this five this minutes, didn't, ah. <laughs> five minutes until the reef balloons are out greg remember you must be present to win so before they didn't have the much mounting options for this and they, they told me that it was coming out is it any word on like how far it is right now like uh, so you guys had I don't a, have an exact date, but we're pretty close. Um, yeah, you know we're working on that. Um, yes. As far as like, we do have more and more like uh, solutions coming out almost weekly. I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, for, compared to when we first launched, it was kind of like when it, the way it came is the way it came. Mm -hmm. uh, elevated uh, tank mounts are already available. Yeah. Right? And you find it in your stores now, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, someone might have given to somebody already, but we have them. But it'll, it'll prop up your blade and mount to your tank sides, mm -hmm. uh, and give it a, you know, a few inches above, so that way if you want to do additional clearance. Yeah. Uh, the other option that you can do is with the HMS arms that's already been out, right, mm -hmm. that we use for our hydras. Yeah. Uh, and we have the clips you could purchase, right? Okay. Usually the clips already only come standard with the 48 inch and up. Yeah. But as you can see, we have the two thirties here, and then we mount it directly to the HMS arms. The smaller ones can get away with one HMS arm. Yeah. But you know, obviously, even, even probably could do one with these two as well. But let's be honest, it looks a lot cleaner too. For sure. Maybe you have it a little bit more stable. So when someone, when someone knocks it, you know, when we do like get our hands in our tank, it's right, not gonna right. like, like throw it aside. So right. Uh, but the clips are available for sale by themselves, and they're very affordable. So gotcha. Uh, people that want to use it, especially if they want to use it on their own, yeah, uh, they'll work with the current HMS mounts, both the ones, the two-sided ones that go across the tank, yeah, and obviously the arms. Gotcha. Well, Young, thank you so much for no showing me around. Is there anything else you would like to show me? Uh, I mean, was there anything you want to see? I think I think we pretty much covered everything, but yeah. I just want to make sure yeah, <laughs> if, I, if I missed anything. I know that should be it. I mean, obviously, uh, we, we brought our Aquaforce products too. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you want to take a look at uh, quick plants, that's Severn. He's uh, the lead of all course and we brought him all the way from Poland. Wow. So that way he can help educate uh, anyone that wants to know about uh, his salts, his mm -hmm. whole line of products. Uh, yeah. He's getting more heavily into fish foods as well. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're just excited about everything, you know, like, uh, you know, hopefully there's something for everyone. And, you know, we just want to make sure that at least they're going to get something qualitative. Thank you so much, Tom. I appreciate you taking your time to show me every, show everything around. Cool, man. Appreciate you guys. Yep. Thank you. I don't want to bother Devin. I'll come back around. Let's see. So, guys, this has been all the toys that's been available in the market. I may have missed some, so I'm going to just a quick do a quick look around and see if I have missed any. But hopefully not. What's up, fellas? Hey! <laughs> specialties. All right, two minutes. Two minutes until the Reef of Palooza raffle. You must be present to win. You know, we have we see our Copa God over there. I think we should we should go over there and we should go bother the head. We see Copa God. How are you, Chad? Doing good. We're just doing a quick live real quick. Good talk by the way. Oh right on. Yeah, that was a really fun talk. For sure. I'm glad I got some laughs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like as soon as you got to the Copa Pod thing, like Copa Pod section, that that's when you you really start hitting your stride. Right. <laughs> it's a topic I love to talk about. Oh for sure. Yeah, for loosen sure. me up, loosen everybody up. Yeah, that was pretty fun. For sure, for sure. I'm sorry. Are, are you are you done filming? I, I didn't mean to oh, interrupt no, you if you're shooting. Not filming at all. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna put that off because the raffle is about to happen and it's about to go. Right, right, right. I know, I know. Well, hey, everybody so. watching me. <laughs> right? Wish you were here. <laughs> so just in case uh, you missed the live video earlier, um, I actually shot Chad during his talk, um, but I actually filmed it as well. 
Uh, you can watch rewatch the just the live video if you want, but the more edited version with the polished um, with his PowerPoint presentation will be uploaded very shortly. It's gonna be one of the first videos I will edit and put up, so you guys could check it out what he had to say about everything about phytoplankton as well as all his lineup of food that he carries here in Reef Nutrition as well as Reef Mariculture. Thank you so much, Chad, for everything. You know, it's like they're such a such a good company. You know, like they sponsor so many different shows and different people. Just just like such an overall wholesome company and great people. Let's see. Fire torches and mushrooms. That is coming out later. Uh, that's coming out later on the. <laughs> that's coming out later. Um, right now, like I have to log out shortly because uh, the raffle is about to go off and it's gonna be super super loud. But I just wanted to do a quick run and make sure that we covered everything. Uh, I think we did Geo's Reef earlier, right? I think we did that. Actually, no, I didn't. I filmed this separately. So I just wanted to. Do a, this will be the last one that I'll do for this one. Um, this is a two new reactor, algae reactor, turf reactor from Geo. So what's really cool about this is that this one is an algae scrubber, this way, that goes around. And then if you if you don't want to grow turf algae and you wanted to use a tatamorpha, you could flip the plumbing parts around and then remove these screens and then fill it with tatamorpha. So this is a two a two in one unit. This is the this is their small one. All right, everybody, large one. welcome to the Reef of the Legion uh -oh. raffle. So here we go. Those of so you have your claim check, and their smoke, calcium uh, reactor. Check out the other video later on, which will have all of this that inside. Let me just flip this around real quick. All right, guys. So the raffle is happening right now. So it's going to be extremely loud. So I am going to sign out. First of all, thank you so much for watching this video. And for those of you guys who wasn't able to make the show, hopefully, hopefully this kind of just kind of scratched that itch. And hopefully next year you'll be able to make it to one of the best show in the country. Well, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And you guys have a great day. And I'll catch you in the next one.